In this video, we will learn how to use the digital multimeter. The black cable should always be connected to the common terminal. The red cable should be connected to the right terminal if you want to measure voltage, resistance or milliampere of current. The red cable must be connected to the left if we want to measure up to 10 amperes of current. When you connect the red cable to the right, you should make sure that the current is not more than 200 milliampere, else your fuse will blow off. As you can see, the DMM can be used to measure DC voltage, resistance, continuity, HFE of transistor, DC current or AC voltage. Let's measure the DC voltage of the circuit which we just built. Connect the black cable to the common and the red cable to the right. You can measure the DC voltage by just connecting the pins of the DMM across any electronic component. As simple as that. Set the dial to DC voltage. The dial is set to 20 because we want to measure voltages less than 20 volts. First, let us see how much voltage the battery is providing. Place the pins to the resistors positive and the LEDs negative. You can see that the voltage is approximately 8.96 volts, which is pretty close to 9 volts. Now, let us measure the forward voltage of the LED. You can see the forward voltage is about 1.97 volts, pretty close to the theoretical value of 2.2. Now let us measure the current using the DMM. Let us set the dial to 200 milliamp. Unfortunately, you cannot find the current by just connecting the pins of the DMM across the components. You have to break the circuit to connect the DMM in series. So let us break the circuit first. Now the circuit is broken and as you connect these two wires the circuit is complete. Let us connect the DMM now in series. As you can see the current is approximately 20.7 milliamps, pretty close to the 20 milliampere theoretical value. Let's measure the resistance of the resistor used in the circuit with the DMM. Turn the dial of the DMM into 200 ohm mode first. Measuring the resistance like this without unplugging the resistor from the circuit is a very bad idea because it is very unlikely that you would end up with the right answer. That is because the other components in the circuit might be in shunt with this resistor. So whenever you want to measure the resistance, you have to disconnect the resistor from the circuit. To measure the resistance, connect both terminals of DMM across the resistor. You can see that the DMM shows 1, which means it is out of range. That means the resistance is more than 200 ohm. Let's switch, to, uh, switch the dial to the 2K mode. Let's see the resistance now. It says 0.329 kilo ohm, which means it is 329 ohm, which is very clo close to the actual 330 ohm value. Hence, the measurement was pretty accurate. Now let's learn about the continuity mode of the DMM. Switch the dial to continuity mode. Make sure that when both the pins are in contact, the DMM should beep. The continuity mode measures almost zero resistance. This can be used to find broken cables. Let's see if this wire is broken. The DMM beeps, which means that the wire has almost zero resistance value, hence it is not broken. The continuity mode can sometimes be fun too. You can use the continuity mode of the DMM to find if various objects around you conduct or not. Finally, let us check the AC mode of the DMM. Switch the dial to 600 volt AC. Now let us connect the DMM into the AC supply at home. You can see the AC voltage on the DMM now. Let's build a little more complex circuit in the next video. Stay tuned.